Good morning guys, welcome to today. Uh, today's video is going to be all about Stella. I hope it's gonna be all about Stella. We are still waiting for the vet, it's Wednesday. Um, I made sure last night, I said like, he has to come, he has to come now. And um, our instructor phoned him right away and he said he'll be here this morning or tomorrow. But I think he needs to come today though. Like, the stress of the waiting is killing me. But anyway, we are going to the barn and we're gonna see her and hopefully meet the vet there. Yeah, talk a little bit more about Stella. This video is all about the many bags of Laura. This summer has been all about bags for me because we've been traveling back and forth to the trailer. I've been taking bags upon bags. So I'm gonna show you just the three, four bags that I take to the barn with me. So, oh, well this is my camera bag. This is for my big camera. I use it to take pictures. I used to be really good at taking pictures, you guys, and now I don't take pictures. So um, I'm gonna take it with me and try and take some awesome pictures of our boy and girl. Then I have my roots. It's like a nylon kind of bag. I take this everywhere I go. The only reason I take it is because I can put it over my shoulder, carries my camera and my phone, all the things I need. Then I have my new Roots bag that I take everywhere I go. And it's because I've assigned this bag as my electronic bag, but I also have some other things in here, like socks. Um, I have like a um, selfie stick, my extra phone, um, another selfie stick. Usually I have a lot more electronic stuff, but in this little pocket here, I have every charger cord that you could ever imagine. Oh, that is three bags for today. Uh, this bag is the bag that I take all of our towels to the trailer in. It's got some bug spray. That's not going with me today, but it could because I'm a bag girl. Um, my next bag that I'm taking is this bag, and this is my multi-purpose bag. It's just like a leather bag, and it has everything in it, and it goes to the, to the barn with me every single time. It's got my journal. I'm gonna show you guys that soon, too, while I wait for the girls. It's got my bag of candy that I won off the trailer. Uh, it's got five zillion more charging cords, which I'm gonna amalgamate. And most importantly in this bag is most importantly in this bag is the food food and drinks um i have a grapefruit because you never know when you're gonna need a grapefruit like i make it to the barn and be like oh my god i need a grapefruit i have granola bars i have applesauce i have water i have elastics i have combos if you guys ever eat anything hey, that's that's normally the bag that you carry all of our phones in. And I have socks because, like, you can never have enough socks, right? All right, are you ready you to roll? You have to wear socks at the bar. You have right. To wear socks what? You have love to wear your socks. outfit, Gabby. I love those colors together, looking good. In her mind, she's like, "Girl, these are not my favorite pants. Where are my favorite pants? But they're in the wash. They're in the wash. You so told she me has... a thousand times. Yeah, today. I told her a thousand times today. They're in the wash. But anyway, let's go. Let's go to the barn. Are you ready? Yeah. Did you eat? Yeah. All right. Let's. The chocolate see. crave cereal. Chocolate crave cereal. It's Don't so tell them about the chocolate good. in the morning. They're like, come on. They're already gonna judge us. But remember, you guys, two more weeks. It's so good. It's, it's like. Regular cereal with a little bit of chocolate in the middle, right? Only a tiny bit. It's so good. She's like, you have to eat it. Anyway, um, yeah. They so, do have to eat it. Yeah, so we're headed out. Um, and we're going to take you guys with us like we always do. There's a no flip-flop rule at the barn. And because I have a sore foot, um, I am wearing my regular outfit. I wear a lot of skirts. On the bottom, I got my old lady running shoes. Um, the girls call them that because they think they look terrible. I also have flip-flops in the car and I also have these uh, sketchers that um, are super protective so I don't go anywhere without being super prepared super prepared you guys we got our bikes our bikes and our bags I saw her up on the hill That moment when you realize you forgot your phone. Like, who goes anywhere without their phone? I needed my phone today, specifically today. I have all my bags, but I have no phone. So uh, this is the bad thing of going away. I can't find all of her stuff. I think this is Sophie's show bridal. She doesn't show Stella. 
No, but she's gonna show. She needs a show, a show bridal. So Gabby is changing Sophie's reins back to her other, um, back to her halter. Bridal. Her too. Back to her bridal. And the vet is gonna be here at 11, which turns out perfectly because I myself have a doctor's appointment. I never have a doctor's appointment, but I have one today. Right, Storm's getting all beautified. Do you want to do his feet? You, uh, after? No. I think if we do it before, they, they will be all awesome. seen. Okay. Um, before, you should do a beauty routine because Gabby spends a lot of time making him beautiful, don't you? So she's, oh look at, so Rachel she's, has this stuff too and she loves it. It's a leave-in conditioner, right? I helped tame all his little curls. But he has none. Yeah. He only has this for me. Your hair's grown yeah. back. Yes it is. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Straight down hair. Don't put it in the cracks because that makes things. Okay, so Vet is coming to see this beautiful girl. You should be here soon. So we're gonna make her feet all beautiful. Some of you guys are worried about her feet. They are definitely a little overgrown and they are barriers coming soon. She's just um in between because she was waiting for a short time so that she could get on our schedule, on our farrier schedule. You know it's true love when I go down there and I risk the feet to clean them up. And you know it's true love when I got my hand in between her udders and I'm cleaning them out. Girl, you need to stop rolling in the mud. have you come out anyway because okay. she's still off on that hip okay on this leg yeah feel like it has something to do with the old scar on her hip could be completely oh, you are a genius yeah <laughs> could be completely wrong but she was very lame on the front end when we got her we've fixed the feet and done all that sound in the front end now um stiff in the hind end she is doing walk trot um, seems to work a little out of it when she gets riding her, but when she leaves her stall to go outside, she's stiff. And they're in during the day in the heat and out at night, so I find after being in for six or eight hours, she's more stiff than when she's outside. Proud and all out. Stella, let's show them what you can do. I was touching a horse yesterday that if you were standing right there I'd be and dead. I was doing this, you would literally be, be dead. dead. So you probably shouldn't because be Because I was I'd... like here with a wall there because every time I was touching him here, he was I'm like sore. getting ready to jump up or kick back. No, he was just yeah. sensitive. Uh, we are so grateful. Like really I think nice. even if she was so, so sensitive, she would just stand there. But I mean, better be safe than sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, really, you should do Yeah. Yeah. 
I forget how. What he's gonna do is he's gonna hold the leg up for a minute, and then when we're ready, we're gonna, we're gonna run, right? Remember we did it with Storm? Okay, remember what we did with Storm when we went and tried it? Yeah, same thing. Let me in on the plan. Together we're stronger. Don't wait any longer. Years have passed and restless legs have settled. We're finally home. Down is up. We've been at the top. Because yeah, if, so. if it is the hawk, can we inject her tonight? Like, do you have the ability yeah. to do that? Yeah. Okay, so if we x-ray and find out that's what it is, we can put her, do an injection, and it's basically hyaluronic acid. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. I, oh, I read up. I and don't I don't know. Depending on what I see, I don't know if I would put steroids in. Yeah. If it was giant today, I probably would be more inclined to. Right now, I'd be some, tempted to just say straight acid and yeah. see what kind of result we happens. get. Yeah. Um, Steroids are harder on horses, especially yeah. Yeah. big horses. Yeah. Steroids could be hard on her feet. Um, okay. She's, you know, they're the laminitic, uh, yeah. potentially laminitic Which horse because she of insulin has. resistance. I, I'm always a little bit more hesitant to use steroids okay. in them. We do think yeah. she has. Found her. Because when we like got started. her, her feet were like this, and then yeah. he had hacked them off. Gotcha. Um, and she was extremely sore on yeah, them. Yeah, she's got that bit of a dish. Yeah, and then when Jonathan did them, he said, there's no separation now, but you there's can kind of tell yeah. that there was in the past. He said, it's not like, bam, it's, oh yeah, she definitely, yeah. like my pony, you can tell yeah. my pony. She said, eh, you gotta really, if I had to make a decision, I'd say she probably has. Yeah. So that was his reasoning. I, we can't get a weight off her. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can't feed her any less. He did start. say that well, she no, was a... I think you're going to have to, is the reality. Okay. Um, are you soaking her hay? No. No. That's one thing I would do, because it will... Soaking the hay takes out some of the non-structural carbohydrates, so, like, the simple sugars. Yeah, I read The ones that, that are going to be hardest for her. So if you okay. soak her hay half an hour in hot water, 60 minutes in cold water... Right. I can she do that when it. she's in stall. I can't do that in the field. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Okay, so, um, basically... We're getting everything taken care of today. I can't hear, my ears are plugged. I can't hear anything that he was saying. I'm like, oh my gosh. So um, he's coming back. He, he's gonna do a lot more stuff. I videotaped everything so that I could play it back later with ear headphones and hear it. But um, basically we're gonna deal with her weight. He feels that she, her weight is definitely an issue. He um, can tell for sure if it's a stifle issue or a hawk issue. I feel like it's kind of a hawk issue. We all kind of are leaning towards it's a hawk issue, but she could have multiple issues. So we're going to either block and then x-ray, or we're going to just go straight to the x-ray and then go back and block if we need to, if the x-rays are not clear. Like, he, he's not sure. He's going to come up with a plan. Um, but yeah, I bred up a lot on a lot of it. He thinks that she has some insulin resistance, which of course she does. She's chubby, uh, no sign of any kind of Cushing's. Um, she's young and she doesn't look like she's like her hair is excellent her fur her skin is ex like she's in great shape that way um, he felt like if she has foundered in the past 
like she might have been on the verge of foundering he him and the the farrier agree there's no real sign that she has foundered her hoofs are in really good shape like there's no real clear-cut sign like he can't neither of them can say yeah we out she is foundered but they think like just based on the shape of her hoof that it's a possibility that far in the past she could have found her but I mean at her weight you think if she did it would it it would have already happened again because I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about I just have a slight grasp of everything um uh, and having like some medical background for myself helps a lot for me to understand what he's saying uh, he's talk they talked about medication and he talked about exercise. So basically she's getting exercise about three times a week, um, for 30 minutes and he wants to increase it to five. So we're going to deal with the pain and the sound issues today. He's coming back. I'm coming back. And then we're going to just exercise the heck out of this girl. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with coming five days a week and exercising her when it comes down to it. We're gonna just keep on going until she's completely sound and completely healthy. Like, I'm just not gonna stop at, I don't know how to say it, but anyway, I'm committed to getting her healthy no matter what. And also, um, the weight, he said like, now we're going hardcore on the weight. Like she's gonna have soaked hay, she's gonna change fields um, so that she, her hay, um, at night is monitored. She can't be taking horse uh, food from other horses um, or a muzzle, but probably the, we're gonna just change fields. So, like we're gonna, the weight is gonna go hardcore. Kind of wish somebody would do that to me. Stella's not getting a treat, my poor girl, even though she deserves one. Did you have, Gabby had a really fun ride because there was no pressure, no camera watching her. Can you put my saddle away? Where's your saddle? Right there. All right, I will. All right. All right, Stella, we'll be back with you later. We're going to get you so fixed up, you're going to think that you're the most amazing horse in the world. What? Is she getting an x-ray? Uh, we're gonna see what she's gonna get. She's gonna get lots of stuff. Oh, yes, I know. She might even get an injection. Like a needle. Alright, get her ready. And you have to exercise her five days a week. Like, she has to have it done. So even when, yeah, you'll be able to ride her. Five days. Bye, sweet girl. She's like, really? You caused me so much pain. It's gonna be all worth it, though, Stella. It's gonna be all worth it, my love.
in my car waiting for the girls to come back because I didn't bring my phone, so I got nothing to do. But um, we have to come back to meet the vet and that's when all the magic is going to happen. He has a whole plan of getting her sound today. Like she's going to be sound today, possibly. Like I don't even know why we waited so long. I'm just super excited. Anyway, this might have to be two videos because there's just like a lot of footage. So there might be a part two and that will be what happens tonight. Past and restless legs have settled But finally home down is up Right, I'm headed to the doctor. It's the only time on earth that I'm ever away from my kids. Except for occasionally when Sam and I go shopping, which doesn't happen very often. But yeah, the girls are going to stay home. I'm going to the doctor. I'm going to get a half an hour to myself and then I'm racing back to the barn. I am home from the doctor and basically it was just to get the results for my blood work, which I already read online. And it basically he concurred with me and said, oh my gosh, Toby. And he said, oh my gosh, you are so healthy. And I was like, yeah, I'm so healthy. Like, I'm not just healthy for my age. I'm legitimately healthy for like my kid's age. Like, I'm so healthy. My thyroid is, is like a 20 year old. My cholesterol, he said, your cholesterol is crazy good. And I'm like, I know, it's like crazy. Uh, there are a couple of little things that I could work on. Actually, only one thing, my blood sugar was, 4.1 or something like so good um the only thing that was bad and it wasn't even bad was my a1c and it was just um it could have been better and that's just how you use sugar over time so basically anybody with even the littlest bit of a belly will have like a little bit of an elevated a1c and mine was just uh, wasn't really elevated just wasn't perfect like the rest of my results you guys washed your hair last night and already you have barn hair. Yeah. We have pool hair and barn hair. And barn hair. Um, you may have noticed that the girls changed clothes. Actually, those shoes look cute. The girls at the barn, Rachel, did you guys remember her? She has been in a couple of our videos. Um, she's Try new. Yeah, she's new in our barn. She brought a whole huge garbage bag full of clothes for the girls that she grew out of. Isn't that crazy? Like, that's the nicest thing. That, that never happens to us. Gabby got these leggings. Yeah, and this shirt and a whole bunch of other ones and get yeah, Sophie of course is mismatched I I'm mismatched. Yeah. mismatched I don't know they match different color of purple yeah slightly oh, different. I realized that looks purple. good though and Sophie's dressed like a crazy girl but that's just how she rolls right I don't have blue caracol. Yeah, so Sophie's going to be wearing this nice new bright pink shirt it's adorable and these pants actually are really cute um, just not together and then she's going to pair them with these cowboy boots all right, let's go. Where are we going? To the barn! Don't mind me getting an x-ray! Yeah, Stella's having treatment now. It's like 4 o'clock and we're just getting started on her. Um, crazy that we're having two vet visits in one day. Probably more expensive too. But anyway, I'm going to end today's video because we have too much footage and we'll start tomorrow with um, everything that happened with Stella. It's all up in the air until she gets x-rays and we'll let you know in tomorrow's video. But thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.